Dear post-quarantine self, I hope by the time you're reading this, you've come out of quarantine a little more knowledgeable, a little more skilled, a little healthier, and a lot more empathetic than when you entered self-isolation. At this moment, I haven't been making the best of my time and haven't been taking care of myself as well as I could have. The coronavirus is getting progressively worse and has been making me feel low and scared. But I realized I can't control what's going on in the world, but I can control what's going on in my mind. Our thoughts make things ugly. Our thoughts make things beautiful. I am choosing to make the best of my situation from here on out. No matter how far you are on the wrong road, you can turn around. Just start now and don't look back. Sincerely, your quarantine self. It may feel like the world is going up in flames, but there is hope. The selfless healthcare workers who are on the front lines risking their lives will be instrumental in helping us turn the corner. In the meantime, we need to stay at home. We not only protect ourselves, but our neighbors, our communities, and the world. Let's make the best of quarantine. You're not alone. Despite being in isolation, my sister and I have been connecting with friends and family using the app House Party, which connects you face to face with up to eight people. Thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. You can use my link below to download the app. I really like that this app alerts me when your friends are in the house and allows you to jump into a video conversation at any time, bringing the casual feeling of an in-person hangout. You can also lock the video chat so no one else can come in. Just like an in-person hangout, you can play online activities together, such as games like Heads Up, trivia, quick draw, and there are fun filters, and you can also send messages. The thing I love most is just how simple it is to use and how casual it is to jump into a video call and you don't even have to be friends on the app with the other person for someone to jump in so you can meet new people too. House Party is free to download and available on iOS, Android, macOS, and Chrome. Check the description of this video to download the app. choose to look at the glass half full. Have you ever wanted to disappear for a little while, work on yourself, and introduce a greater version of you? Well, here's your chance. Remember, this month's choices are next month's results. There's nothing in life as important as good health because without it, nothing else really matters. When you have good health, then just about anything is possible. Nutrition is closely related to health. Not only does what you eat change your image, but it gives you the vitality to conquer your goals. Especially during this difficult time when a virus is threatening our health, we need nutrition as a defense against disease. Do everything you can to keep your immune system strong. I've been using the advice found in Superhero Nutrition by Steve Zim, which you guys can get on Amazon. No, this is not sponsored. This is a plan that has really changed me from the inside out. The book covers exactly what and when to eat and tons of weight loss tips that you won't find online. I've had a lot of conflict and confusion over the past few years about nutrition, low carb, keto, high fat, but this book has such an amazing balance. I started eating a lot more than I used to and I even get to eat dessert every night while maintaining a healthy weight. There was this heaviness that was weighing down on my body and mind. I thought I understood healthy eating, but after following Steve's plan for a short time, I experienced an awakening. I vividly remember that moment. I was sitting on the metro, feeling so comfortable in my clothes for once. My face just felt clean, much deeper than the clean from a face wash. There was so much clarity and energy. I even noticed that the superhero fuel spilled over to improve my sleep patterns. Never have I felt so calm about what I eat and the effect that has had on my body. There was utter peace as I rode along the tracks towards home. Here's a wellness drink I like to make that has tons of health benefits. Start with a little hot water in your cup, add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, squeeze the juice out of half a lemon and pour the lemon juice in, then pour your water in. The bottle we used was 12.7 ounces. It, 
If you don't have the ingredients to make a wellness drink, try drinking warm lemon water before bed, which will keep your body hydrated throughout the night and rid unwanted toxins. Lemon also contains vitamin C, which boosts your immune system to fight infections. And just drink lots of water. Health authorities recommend two liters of water a day. If you find yourself grazing on food all day in quarantine, upping your water intake could help prevent overeating because it will keep you fuller. Sometimes you're not even hungry, you're just thirsty, so drink a big glass of water every time before you eat. Water has tons of health benefits, including clear skin, prevents bad breath, cleanses the liver, kidney, and blood, promotes mental clarity, and aids weight loss. Exercise is definitely tough during quarantine given our small spaces and lack of equipment, but it's so important to keep your movement up. Online is our best friend for this. Two online resources I have been going to are Blogilates on YouTube and the Instagram account, A Tighter You. The exercises get really creative so anyone can do them. No equipment necessary. I will have both of them linked below in the description. Also, if you need some good stretching videos, check out my YouTube channel because I have a lot of follow along videos. I'll have some good routines linked below as well. There's something so therapeutic about the process of pampering yourself. It's a really peaceful time to cherish when it's just some self-care products, music, the stars, and you in your most natural bare state. Let's begin. Here's a recipe to whiten your teeth. Add a little toothpaste, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, and half a teaspoon of water. Mix the ingredients together and brush your teeth with this mixture once or twice a week. A simpler method is to brush your teeth with baking soda a couple times a week. Don't overdo it because it can damage the enamel if you do it too often. I was at Ulta Beauty once and this lady told me her niece used castor oil for longer lashes every night and it really worked. So I tried it myself and I did notice my lashes look a little longer than before. Here's a quick little routine. Wet your finger and dip it in sugar. Rub it on your lips to exfoliate, then rinse off. Follow it up with lip balms or alternatives such as Aquaphor, Vaseline, or olive oil. And here is a DIY rose lip scrub you can use instead of sugar. One tablespoon of white sugar, one tablespoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of honey, and two to four drops of rose essential oil. Mix it all together and you've got your rose lip scrub. First, wash your face. My current favorite face wash is Innisfree's Hydrating Cleansing Foam with Green Tea, and it makes me really happy because it smells so good and so refreshing every time I use it, making me feel like I'm at a spa. And this is the face wash I use to wash off my makeup. Next, a homemade facial steamer that I do once a week. Clogged pores are one of the reasons for acne breakouts, so this is an easy way to open up your pores. Boil water in a pot, and once you see the water bubbling, turn down the heat a little and put your face over it for seven to 10 minutes. Next, face masks. This is my favorite face mask that I've used for years and it's known as the world's strongest face mask. It's $10 and it lasts you a heck of a long time. If you don't have any face masks at home, that's okay. Here's some DIY face masks that you can make at home. Leave the mask on your face for 12 minutes before rinsing off. And let's not forget a detox bath. I like to pour Epsom salts in or an essential oil. If you don't have anything, use tea bags. Throw in six to nine tea bags in your bath. Here is a little five step at home nail care routine. Step one, soak your nails in warm soapy water. Step two, cut and file. Thirdly, exfoliate your fingers with sugar, then rinse off. Next, apply olive oil on your cuticles. And lastly, paint your nails or leave as is. I don't usually paint my nails, so I like to rub some lotion on my hands after. Okay, delete photos, delete apps, change your wallpaper on your phone and make the display neater, open the blinds, vacuum the floor, wash your sink, rearrange some furniture, wash your bed covers and sheets, clean out your closet, and while you're at it, resell some clothes you outgrew to earn a little side cash. Have you looked under your bathroom sink lately? Organize it. Check out your school papers and binders. How are they looking? Are they organized? <sighs> Just declutter your life so you can think clear on average and make room for a fresh new you. Look in the mirror. What are you afraid of? What are you insecure about? What have you been avoiding? This is how you get more confident, stronger, by facing your weakness and working on it consistently, even if you don't want to or it hurts to. The insecurities we don't confront become our limits, but glowing up is about reaching our highest potential. It's very uncomfortable, change always is, but on the other side of this pain is something truly magnificent that only those who endure will get to experience. 
Pick something you're struggling with, write it down, stick it on your mirror or your journal. Now come up with a game plan for how you're going to strengthen this weakness. Listen to a TED talk, podcasts, books, search online for someone who had your same weakness and did something about it. What did they do? Don't aim for perfection, aim for progress and be proud of that progress. If there's one thing I could go back in time and fix, it would be my reading habits. I hated reading as a kid, so I didn't do very much of it. But as I grew older, I learned what a limited life it is to not read on your own outside of school. Books allow me to dive into the minds of some of history's greatest teachers and dream makers. They alter your perception of the world and thus change you. Self-education will help open your eyes and take you on adventures to faraway lands, making you realize that there are many realities and endless possibilities of ways to live. So make a book list and set aside time each day to read. And journal. Talk about your goals, it's a dream. Plan it and it becomes real. You are 42% more likely to achieve a goal if you write it down. So write down your quarantine goals, your reasons for wanting to achieve, and your daily routine. If you guys want some book recommendations, I'll have my Amazon page linked below where I have a whole category dedicated to books. Lastly, self-investment. Start learning a new language, the splits, new hairstyles. Put outfits together and snap a picture of them and store them in an album on your phone so you can refer back. Search your ancestry, learn an instrument or music theory, try a new makeup look, make a music playlist that inspires you. Meditation, write or blog your life story and just get all those muddles of thoughts out of your head and start to make order of them. Having this goal of coming out of quarantine with a new skill learned gives your days some purpose to get out of bed and prep so you can work on this goal. And this will naturally encourage other good habits. And when your head hits the pillow tonight, after a full busy day of making the best of it, remind yourself that you are doing a great job. Be patient with yourself and remember that big things are achieved not all at once, but one day at a time. Consistency is key to glowing up, and it's hard when you feel alone in quarantine. But you've got to learn to clap for yourself, be accountable for yourself, and be your own biggest fan. See you.